Guys, we are here at Disneyland and it is Halloween time. We're gonna get ready to check out all these spectacular food and treats. Now there is a lot of them, so we're gonna try to get as many as we can so we can show all you guys so that you're prepared. So when you come over to Disneyland and you're ready for that spectacular time, you know what to do. So why don't you join us today on this magic journey? Here we go. <laughs> So we decided to come to Starbucks first because it's gonna be a long day and we need a little bit of caffeine to wake us up. We do, and we got both. We both got strawberry acais. Yeah, we did two tall strawberry acais. Hold the or hold. What is it? Light water, right? I was <laughs> gonna say hold the pickles. I don't know what I was thinking. I need that caffeine. <laughs> Okay, so up first, we're going to the Jolly Holiday. Hey! <laughs> and we are gonna try our first food. Now, like I said, there is a lot of them, so we're gonna try to go through this list as fast as we can. So it's a really hot day today, so I don't know why we did this, but today we got a soup and we also got some pastries. We're gonna have to show you those guys real soon. All right! Look at that, guys. Whoa! So cute. <laughs> Guys, so over at Jolly Holiday, they have the poison apple macaron. Look how pretty! Oh my goodness, it's almost too cute to eat, but we gotta do it for science, right? So right here is the salted caramel macaron with cool green frosting that I'm pretty sure it's gonna stain your teeth, but here we go. Worth it. Worth it. That's a good macaron. The salted caramel inside the poison apple macaron is so yummy. I love how salty it is, but it's not too salty, it's just right. And it does sting your teeth, so I'm gonna give you that fair warning right now. But look how cute this is. The stained teeth, who cares? This is a good treat, you should get. <laughs> oh my gosh, look what I found inside. Apple compote. See, I didn't notice it until like I went in there like with a few more bites. But do you see that? Yeah, I see it. You know what this reminds me of now? It reminds me of, remember those lollipops? The like, green apple lollipops with caramel? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's just like that. Ooh. Mm -hmm. So this is a 10 out of 10. Right here at the Jolly Holiday, you can get this. Now this is the Bogogi Toasted Cheese Sandwich. And it also comes with some corn soup here on the side. That's a very pretty sandwich. And look at how much meat you get in there. Wow, they go crazy with it. That's a lot of meat. All right, so let's give this a try. I really enjoy the bread. It's nice and toasted, but I do love the inside. The marinated beef is the star of this show. You do get some nice, sweet, bulgogi tasting meat. And I also like the onions inside, which are sweet and caramelized. This is a great sandwich. But not only that, since you have the corn chowder, I think you have to dip it in. Let's dip it in here. All right. And we got the Disneyland band starting up behind me. That's perfect. That's even better. <laughs> I love this dish. If you want to check it out, come over to the Jolly Holiday. It is delicious. Now it's time to check out the Disneyland band. You guys, look how precious this little treat is. Oh my goodness. It's a pumpkin chai cream puff, but it's almost too pretty to eat. They're making all these foods too hard to eat because they're so cute. But here we go. I'm so excited. Mmm. It tastes like a chai latte inside a cream puff. I love it so much. Oh wow. It's like spongy and soft, very creamy. It tastes very much like fall. Like if fall were a treat, it would be this. Wow, this is so sweet. I love the little like, almost like crystal like sugar right on top of the cream puff. And that cream inside is so creamy and delicious. I'm gonna get 10 of these because these are so cute. Now this is the pecan caramel trifle and look how pretty that looks. It's a vanilla bean diplomat cream, brown sugar spice cake, candied pecans, caramel, and shot chili cream. <laughs> All right, let's try it out. You gotta get in there. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's like melting together. Mmm. This is like banana bread in a cup, even though there's no bananas in here. What? Yeah. Banana bread. I love banana bread. Yeah, it's just like banana bread in a cup. I love like the cinnamon bread. This one chili cream is like vanilla. It's sweet. But then you have those caramelized pecans that like balance. I like it. Hold on. I just wish I had more of that cake though. I feel like there's more cream and custard than actual cream itself because the cream is very spongy and delicious. But it's really good. Oh my goodness. I say skip it on this one. 
because it's just too much cream. I say go for that macaron, you guys. So the mac that macaron looks so cool. It was so cool. Who cares if your teeth is green? Like <laughs> it'll it's stand so your good. teeth for sure. It's yeah. gonna be worth it. Trust me. You'll be Skip walking around with this green one. teeth like a monster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm standing right in front of the Pioneer Mercantile, and you guys, they finally put up the pumpkin patch photo ops. It's one of my favorite places to take photos. You just have to check it out. Look. I just love this. This is a great spot. Like if you want to take a picture, this is yes. the best place to be. See? <laughs> and then they also have a little black cat over here. Look. This was my favorite. His little cat looks so cute. Uh, oh my goodness. They used to have this little like patch area where they used to have like more. I, I think they'll bring it back. They have like so hay stacks here. Yeah. And they put, I think, pumpkins on top. I don't remember. It's but they make it look very pretty. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? So even though technically it is not Halloween time, it does start on September 1st. So we're three days away, but right now Disney has released so many foods that we thought we'd get it to you guys early. So when Halloween time comes around, you know exactly what foods to try. Halloween time is like my favorite time of the year because I mean, it's just spectacular first, second, they have the most unique foods. And my little foodie self is like jumping for joy right now. But right now we're gonna head over to another location for some more yummy. Haunted Mansion Holiday is coming September 1st. Only a few more days. They already have the decorations up. I can't wait for this. Jack Skellington is here already on the pumpkin. It's gonna be a fun time once they open it. I can't wait to ride it. So some very exciting Haunted Mansion news. Right across from the Haunted Mansion, they're gonna open up this new retail space. It's actually gonna be the carriage house of the Haunted Mansion. And it's gonna be Madame Leota's. They're gonna put new merch in there. I can't wait to see what that's all about. Okay. And then over at Tiana's Palace, they're gonna reimagine the outside plaza. They're gonna make it look very pretty with new historic trees. They're also gonna add some tables there and you're gonna be able to watch some music shows going on in that little area. So it's gonna look very pretty and I can't wait for it to happen. It's gonna look fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> that was magic. Oh my goodness. That made my day. Too hungry. There we go. It's tradition. I really love being around Hungry Bear. I just love the feeling of being in the outdoors and they do such a great theming here that it feels like you're really in the woods. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> yeah, it does feel like weight. <laughs> it actually even feels fresher out here, huh? I think it's because all the shades from the trees make yeah. it feel that way. It's quite refreshing, actually. I don't like it. So we got our food, and man, were we excited. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Next, it's finding a table. Luckily for us today, it's not a busy day, so there's a lot of tables to choose from. Dinner time. So we got ourselves two different food items. We got a burger that kind of has a sauce that looks like something at a good burger. And then they also have the onion rings that have the same type of like, it's a red chili sauce. And it looks pretty good and I can't wait to try it. So over at the Hungry Bear, I had to get myself the barbecue cheeseburger. It has red pepper chili sauce, bacon, a big old onion ring, and that chuck patty, you guys. Look how jumungo that is. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, and the bacon is like sticking out, so you know it's gonna be good. It looks juicy, very candied. Here we go. How do I eat this? We just got to do it the magic journey's way. way. <laughs> Here we go. Cheers. 
Oh gosh, it's gonna be messy. This, what a flavorful burger. I love the smoky and the tangy and the sweetness of the burger. I love the crunchy texture from the onion ring that's right inside. My overall critique would be maybe the patty's a bit dry, but overall I think it's a really great burger. Come over here and try it yourself because it's awesome and you may not want to share it because it's really good. Yeah. Okay, so right over here at the Hungry Bear, they also have this red pepper chili sauce on top of the onion rings. Look at that. Now this is $8, so it's a little on the pricey side because you only get about one, two, three, four, five onion rings. That's, yeah. Honestly, you can get these in fries form, and I think it's a better bargain because you're actually paying a dollar less and you're getting way more fries. Yeah, I would kind of skip this, but I haven't tried it yet, but I still think for the value, $8 for five onion rings is not such a good deal. Mmm, that's pretty good though. <laughs> I do like the sauce, and I do love the onion rings. I love how crispy they are. I love the onion on the inside. It's nice and caramelized, and the sauce is great. It's got a nice tangy taste. It's a little smoky, but I just can't get over the fact that this is $8 and you only get five onion rings, I would honestly just get the fries. I think you'd get a, a better deal with that. And of course, we just get all this so that we can show you what's a good deal and what's not. But overall, it tastes good, but save your money, get the fries. On the menu at Hungry Bear, they had a chai spice pumpkin iced tea. I said to myself, Janelle, you have to try it. It has pumpkin puree, iced tea, chai iced tea, syrup, and some little candy crystals on top to give it a nice swirl. Look at that beautiful, like, swirl. Wow. Here we go. I'm so excited. That tastes like fall in a cup. Oh my goodness. <laughs> and like the mercury. Wow. Like I said earlier, this is fall in a cup. You definitely taste that chai spice iced tea. The only thing is that you don't really taste that pumpkin puree that it says that it has. But if you're wanting to enter your fall era, this is the drink to go with because it is awesome and it's delicious. Now it's also hot here in Disneyland, so something refreshing is always nice. This is the Huckleberry Lemonade, and we got this also here at the Hungry Bear. Let's try this out. Wow. Okay. It's sweet and tart. Very refreshing on a hot day like today. Now, not really tasting a lot of the berries, but I do taste a lot of the lemonade. You get a little bit of sweetness from the berry, and it's very subtle, but you're not getting that taste. You're mostly lemonade. I do like this on a hot day like today, like I said, refreshing and I recommend you get one. I really love when they put the pumpkins in front of partner statue. It looks great. Now we're heading over to the Red Rose Tavern. <laughs> yes, we're here because they have a pumpkin cheesecake cold brew and you know us. We like to try different types of cold brews and this one seems interesting. I'm excited. I don't understand why they don't bring Belle or Gaston here and do like a photo shoot. Everything looks great. They got an awesome backdrop. Look at this and to meet the beast as well. I mean, they do it over at Walt Disney World. This would be a great spot to bring them in. All right, so right over here, we have the spiced lamb sausage flatbread. Over here, we have a house-made merguez sausage with fresh basil pesto, mozzarella honey lemon, ricotta, and grilled pearl onions. It looks very, very pretty. Wow, look at everything that's on here. Wow, fancy. That is wonderful, oh my gosh. The lamb's got a great taste. Flatbread is just, it's really good. It's toasty. All together, it just works. It's fresh and it's got that earthy flavor that I really enjoy. This is really good, Janelle. I know, I tried some of the ricotta cheese on top. Let yeah. me tell you, oh, I, I want like packets of that. Honestly, guys, so good. if you're coming over to the Red Rose Tavern, this is one I recommend. It is delicious. It has a lot of flavors and it's just, it's jam packed with I think it like spices and it's an explosion of flavor. You guys need to try. <laughs> so also at the Red Rose Tavern, they have a pumpkin cheesecake cold brew and it's topped with pumpkin sea cream cheese topper. And look how cute that looks. Wow. Right? I feel like they had something like this last year, but it was just cold brew with syrup. And we didn't like it, I don't think. But this time it's topped with sweet cream cheese on top. Pumpkin sweet cream cheese on top. So cheers, here we go. I'm gonna try like this first. Watch out, Black Calf. They're coming for you. Uh-oh. They're coming for you. 
But she's gonna have to know for real what it tastes like when she does the mixy mix. I'm gonna mix it up. Oh, they made up for the one last year for sure. Oh my goodness. It's like, it doesn't taste a lot like cheesecake or like cheese, like sweet cream. It's more like a pumpkin cold foam beef, I would say. I love it. It's not too sweet and it's not too strong. It's just in the middle, just the way I like my cold brews. So you're gonna catch me at a Red Rose Tavern getting one of these for pick me up for sure. It is a really good drink, yeah, to try. All right, let's give it a try. Let's see what this tastes like. <laughs> you know what it kind of tastes like? Mm. Uh, abuelita's, uh, not the hot chocolate, but Abuelita's hot chocolate okay. was cold, I guess. Oh yeah, you know? sorta. Doesn't that kind of taste like this? Sorta, yeah, it's very cinnamon-like. Yeah, it's got that cinnamon taste. I, I kind of like it. I like it too. Yeah, it's pretty good. Keep, keep, I'm not keep, a cold keep, brew keep, person, keep. but I like it. I am, and I'm gonna drink this all the way to the next location. So next we decided to come over to Galaxy's Edge. We're going over to Docking Bay 7 because they also have some new foods over there for Halloween time. I can't wait to see what it's all about. This one. Oh no. Get them. Oh no. Them here. <laughs> Understood, sir. I think it's, we're talking about you. Hello. <laughs> this way, please. Uh-oh. Look what you did. <laughs> Now we're here inside the Docking Bay 7. Every time we come in here, we're always surprised with how delicious the foods are. Every time they add a new item, we're just blown away. So we can't wait to try them. Look at this beautiful dish, you guys, here at Docking Bay 7. Now this is called the Yob Shrimp Tingler Stew. It has shrimp, sausage, and our pasta. Off the bat, you guys, it smells spicy, but the good spice. So let's try it. You guys, this dish is so delicious. I love the Cajun spices on the shrimp and the sausage. It's almost like a gumbo, but not really. It's more thicker of a gumbo. The pasta holds in that stew very well. You see that? Mm. Mm. It's so good. I'm kind of jealous that the Mandalorians get to eat this because this is a really good stew. <laughs> so right here we have a spice shock with golden liking grains. Wow, it's a very pretty dish. So we're gonna have a pasta with arriabada sauce and charred onions. Wow, it is a gorgeous looking dish. Look at the colors in this. They really worked hard to bring you some very beautiful dishes here. They always do such a great job. And I, I've mentioned this all the time. Docking Bay 7, you nail it. <laughs> We're trying to get a little bit of everything in each bite. Wow. What, what? <laughs> That's very flavorful. The basmati adds a nice aroma to this dish. I do love the tomato. It adds a little bit of acidity that this dish definitely needs. The beef, flavorful, cooked perfectly. And I just, I love this, guys. If you're here at Docking Bay's Heaven, please do not miss, miss out on their new dishes because they are fantastic. <laughs> wow. They nailed it. They nailed it. So this dish is about $17.99, so it's a little pricey, but they serve you a lot. And this will definitely fill you up because it's a lot of rice there. So just letting you know, if you want to, it's gonna fill you up for the whole day. This is it. Now we're gonna put this away. We're gonna take it to go. Because if I eat all of this, I'm not gonna be able to eat anything else. And we still have to go to California Adventure. I know, we still have to go to California Adventure, guys. <laughs> so right now we're gonna put it in our little uh, Ziploc bag. Zip log and we're gonna take it to go and eat it at home. We got some dinner for tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so far guys, we are loving this and we're excited that Doc and Big 7 has new dishes for you guys to try. That was tasty. Yes. But now we got these drinks here. What are those? Okay, so these are from, I believe from Katsakas and they're the new Ube drinks, the new, um, I gotta look it up, give me a sec. <laughs> <laughs> During Halloween time, they always have so much food that even ourselves, we get confused. We're all like, wait, what is that one called again? What does this have? What ingredients? We try to do our homework, but since there's just so much food, even we get lost sometimes. Okay, so I remembered. It's called the Pula Blossom Slush, and it's a plant-based ube ochata topped with cold brew on top. You see it? Yeah, it looks How cool. How unique, right? Mmm, let's give it a swirl. Ooh. Excited. Okay, I was in it. I love that. Mmm, that ube is like sweet. I feel like I would get this, then the black cap, and the one at uh, Red Rose Tavern. You definitely taste the ube. It's a more on the sweeter side than what I like, but it's really good. And it's quite refreshing because of the slush. You need to try it. It's definitely a themed drink for Galaxy's Edge. Mm. 
and it's very tasty. Sweet, it's got a cinnamon kick. It does taste like ube, but more like horchata. I do right. like this, I definitely get it again. Uh -huh. I like this over the black calf, but that's because I'm not a, a cold brew drinker. Yes. But uh, for someone who's not a cold brew drinker, you might want this. For someone who's a cold brew drinker, I'd probably get the black calf. I don't know, because that's that's a very <laughs> popular, drink. you don't want to say anything otherwise, because you might get upset. That's that's a very popular drink. The black calf, <laughs> yeah. don't mess with it. <laughs> listen, listen, it's a good drink, but that one, that one's a runner up. I think this is one of my favorites here at Galaxy's Edge now. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Off to California Adventure we go. So we're kind of rushing it because California Adventure today closes at nine o'clock. It's 7.30. We're trying to get there and get as many foods as we can, but we're, we're kind of cutting it short. So we need to go. Looks like they have all the spooky lights out here in California Adventure and the bats, they're all here. So we have made it inside Cars Landing. This is California Adventure and it's a special treat that has Miguel's name written all over it. Oh no. <laughs> yep, when I saw it on the menu, I said, you know what? This is something you might like. All right, so we made it over to Cars Land, and one thing I noticed is I look around and I see all these spooky decorations. They finally have the scary garlands on top, and then they also brought in the posters. We still have that little tractor mummy, and one thing they fixed, they fixed the Cozy Cone Motel sign. I'm glad to see it, it's got such an aesthetic. So we're here, we're gonna get some food. Let's go check it out. If you guys enjoy these videos don't forget to subscribe don't forget to hit the like button it really helps us out with YouTube and it really means a lot to us now we have something coming from the cozy cone and it's something that Janelle knows I don't like so <laughs> she's getting it just so that I can eat it I can already tell just by looking at her she's like smiling over there I see you <laughs> Uh, is that candy corn? <laughs> yes, your favorite. Oh my mm -hmm. gosh. One of Miguel's favorite Halloween candy treats. I don't know about that. No? Nope, <laughs> I don't think so. I saw this on the menu and I said, I'm going to get that for him. But to test the waters for you, let me try it off for you. Because oh. I like candy corn actually. Nope. I like the texture. Is that weird? Oh, not for me. <laughs> I kind of get a kick. It just tastes like a regular chill, but with like just a regular chill with some icing. But you gotta try it with the candy corn. Do like with this one. Ready? There you go. <laughs> no, it's chewing. <laughs> it doesn't taste like any candy corn, but lots of sugar and icing. I need you to try it. Come on. I don't know about please. that. No. Try it for science. For the people in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Only because I love everyone in here. I will try it for try all it, you try guys. It. So, and I'll even eat a candy corn, but yes, I'm doing it for everyone in here and for you. By the way, you're welcome, because wait till you see his face. Oh. <laughs> All right, babe, I guess I'll, go, go. I'll try this out. Oh, he's going double? So I'm gonna take a bite of both. <laughs> oh my goodness. Isn't that the way you're supposed to do it? I mean, I mean, come I on, know. it's both flavors. All right, here we go. With candy corn on the top, which I hate it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't understand how these are, good i don't get it they just taste like <laughs> wax they don't have a flavor it's it's so weird but you kind of also like those wax bottles too with the candy in I it do. Like the, the and with the little with the little juice in there i love it i don't know the churros they taste like churros these not for me <laughs> but i'll tell you what i think for me even it with this and uh, forget about the candy corn i would probably say skip this there are better churros for halloween time this is not the best We'll show you the best, but next time we come back, you're gonna see some really cool churros that they have for Halloween time. <laughs> for me, this isn't it. What about you? Do you like this? Uh, I do. I think it's just too overly sweet. Like I, it, that's too much. I feel like my sweet tooth is even screaming at me, saying, "What the heck?" Can yeah, you give me? it's a little bit. But it's too sweet for me. It's a little more sweet than a regular churro, which I don't even know how that's possible. But it's even sweeter than a regular <laughs> churro. Yeah. But yeah, skip this one. I feel so bad for making him eat that churro that I, I'm gonna make it up to him. I'm gonna head over to award winners and I feel like he's gonna like this one way more than the churro. 
Is that the poison apple funnel cake from Yes, I felt so bad that I made you eat the chua with the candy corn, so I'm trying to make it up for you. Oh, that's so sweet, but you didn't have to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That looks pretty I good though. I wanna try it too, so. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was. Yes, Hot. Sure. <laughs> These are the poison apple fries and they're dusted with cinnamon sugar and topped with candied apple compote with <laughs> toppings and green apple glaze. Wow, mm -hmm. that was very pretty. And I feel like they added little gummy worms. You see? <laughs> yeah, they're on the top. I wish there were more gummy worms. Mmm, it's very pretty though. <laughs> so every Halloween time, they always come out with a different flavor of funnel fries. And right now, it, look at this. It just it looks really cool. It kind of gives me those Nickelodeon vibes, you know, with yeah, the green like slime. slime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's try this out, or goosebumps or something. Let's see. You guys remember Goosebumps the show? Yes. That was it. I don't know if a lot of people remember this show, but in the 90s they had Erie, Indiana. And I used I to like that, that a lot. No, I used to like that way more than Goosebumps. Let me know in the comments below if you remember Erie, Indiana. But here we go. Mmm, okay. So they have a very delicious berry compote right in the bottom. It's very sweet. And then the apple glaze kind of tastes like, I don't know, it kind of tastes like Jolly Rancher to me. Like sour apple maybe? <laughs> kind of like sour apple, yeah. And then you also got some gummy worms right here. The kids are gonna love this. I think this is it. It looks great and it's very spectacular. If you want to get it yourself, come to Award Winners. They have them there. Now we had a fantastic time here at Halloween time. And we always try to give back to you guys. So today we're gonna do a little giveaway and we're gonna be giving away a little Mickey and a little mini plush. Look at these guys, they're all so dressed cute. up for Halloween, <laughs> I know. And pretty much, the way you enter is you just have to answer this question, what's your favorite Halloween treat? And it doesn't have to be just candy, you can say whatever you want, apple pie, uh, if there's a treat you make that's delicious, let me know in the comments below. But in order for you to be entered to qualify, you must be subscribed. So make sure you're subscribed, and that's pretty much it. Make sure to leave the video likes, it helps out. And we'll choose on October, what was it? 20th. 20th. <laughs> we'll choose on October 20th and we'll let you know who wins. We'll pin up the comment right at the top and we'll see who wins the Mickey and who wins the Minnie. <laughs> Man, what a fantastic time we had yes. here at Disney's California and Disneyland for Halloween time. We tried so many tasty foods and I hope you guys get to try them too. I hope we helped you guys out. But we will be doing a part two of this video yes. on September there 1st. There was just so much food to cover. We got most of it, but this time, gonna be even more. Yeah. I'm excited, my tummy's excited. I'm already thinking about the next one. <laughs> Me too, so on the official opening of Disneyland's Halloween time, we'll be back to show you even more foods. So I hope you guys are excited for that, so don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna see you guys here next time on Magic Journey. bye.